Uh, okay, okay. Uh, are you looking my my screen, everyone? Yes, yes. We can see your screen. Okay, okay. I'm going to start my presentation. Uh, thank you for for having me. And I'm going to talk about the work we we done. Uh, Doctor, you are not audible. Can you make it louder, please? Okay, okay. Now, it's okay. Little bit more. Little bit more. Okay. Let me change my volume. Is it midnight for you? Hey, now you can hear me now. Yep, we can hear you. Yep, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. I will start my presentation. The work we done here in my university is about design and implementation of a IoT-based LTG and CO gates monitoring system. <clears throat> I am. Uh, my name is Otoniel Flores. We are a group in Universidad del Salvador, Universidad Tecnológica del Salvador, and we are located here. Uh, we are from a small country in Central America, located here. This is my, my country, and in the university, we are starting to, to develop uh, try to develop that IoT prototype to uh, measuring some uh, ga gases in the surrounding. And we are, we will talk about it. Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to introduce you, you to my work. First, LPG, known as propane gas in my country, is a gas we use to cook mostly in stoves and kitchens. And it's a gas very, very, very uh, volatile. It's dangerous, it's asphyxial, and it's flammable. is a gas who has a very flammable gas. In a LPG leak situation, if you, if the people, uh, breath this LPG gas, you can lead to a health accident, either by inhalation or by combustion of the gas the gas can explode. On the other hand, we have carbon monoxide. It's a toxic gas that comes mainly from combustion of car engines, the smokes of the cars. So if people breathe this air polluted with carbon monoxide, can have problems too. So, these two gases are dangerous. And in El Salvador specifically, we have in recent years, many problems with these gases. <clears throat> For example, we have here two main accidents in 2019 and 2020, two explosions of uh, facilities with propane gas due to undetected leaks of these gases in distribution facilities. These are real photographics, real photos of this accident. This accident can be prevented with, uh, if the leak of the gas be detected. In the other hand, we are a country 
in we are a developing country and we import too many cars motorizing cars use a car from the us and the number of cars in El Salvador has increased and these cars are used from the United States. So they don't have many, for say a uh, word, filters in the engines to prevent the smoke's problem. So we, are, we have here a situation in the country that is very important, mostly in facilities of LPG gas to have a, a way to monitor the size, a possible leak and to uh, alert in possible accident for a possible accident. So what is the aim of this project? Well, to prevent accident, including explosion in an environment open and closes, monitoring size, the concentration of the levels of C and LPG gases have become a necessity in our country. And uh, so the aim of this work is to demonstrate, to implement IoT techniques to design a telemetric system, a station with sensors to detect a possible leak of LPG gas and monitor size this concentration via web. First of all, PLG and CO can be measured with so many techniques. Nowadays in our country, the only technique we have is a chemical technique, a chemical technique. The government, uh, the only way they have to know the concentration of these gases is in sight, go in sight with chemical sensors or to catch this uh, sample of the air, they to back to the lab and do a measure in the lab. On the other hand, PLG and CO has a threshold that this concentration can be dangerous. For example, LPG can be dangerous when his concentration is about is above 400 ppm, and for CO gas can be dangerous more than 51 ppm. So this work wants to develop a station, an electronic station to monitor size these concentration of gases in real time and to show them be aware. So the purpose of this station has to be to automate PLG and CO gases concentration monitorizing with Wi-Fi communication in real time and report via a web dashboard. The behavior we want in, in this system, we want an electronic station with sensor capable of measuring concentration of gases 
in the surrounding area with a central controller to perform a periodic reading and send this data to the Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi to a platform in the internet. So everybody with a, a access to internet and a device with access to internet can watch the concentration of the gas in real time. So the station, the electronic station on site in the factory, in the facility, has to do a very, very sim simple task, a very simple algorithm. A simple, simple action. First of all, they have to read the sensors. The station has to read the sensor. And is the sensors report a level above threshold of the gases, they have to active, they have to have a alarm within the facility and send to the IoT platform. If the sensors don't report a, nor report a normal PMP values, don't active the, send the alarm and send them to the IoT platform. And this is all the algorithm the station has to do. Here we have a block diagram of the station, of the system, of the complete system. In the facility, in the location we want to detect a leak, we have the electronic station. We have the electronic station and in the cloud, we have our IoT platform. In the electronic station, we have the microcontroller as the main part, as the central part, part of this electronic station. We have a CO sensor. Sorry, this is a typo. It's CO, not CO2. We have a PLD sensor, known as propane gas too. We have a buzzer and a display on board. Then this microcontroller has a transceiver to connect to the local Wi-Fi on site. And this microcontroller perform a period read of this sensor and send them via Wi-Fi to the cloud, to the internet. In the cloud, we have a system to catch the data comes from the station, storage that data, and display in our dashboard. To implement this scheme, we have this component. This is for the uh, station, for the electronic station. In the electronic station, we use uh, Atmega 2516 microcontroller as the main controller. We use a SP8266 as a transceiver. We use a MQ5 sensor and a MQ9 sensor as PLG and CO sensors. We had a, a buzzer to alarm on site and a display. In the IoT side, we use a Amazon Web Service. We use Amazon Web Service Toolbook as a web developer. And 
Uh, this is a photo, a photo of the electronic station prototype. We have the microcontroller, the transceiver. We have the screen, the onboard display, and the sensor, two sensors. To experiment purpose, we put our station in a location within the university, the campus university. This is a snapshot of the dashboard we have. And this is the link. There is a in the paper too, so you can go online. This is online and you can visit this dashboard online. In this dashboard, we have a map with the location of the station. Uh, in this station, the project, we only have one station located in the basement, in the parking basement of the campus of the university. And we have a data table and we have a graphic dashboard for each gases, LPG and CO. And the graphic is interesting because LPG, this is a snapshot about uh, 10 minutes ago. Look. In the yesterday, at the afternoon, we have a large concentration of LPG gases, but it's normal. And this morning, the LPG concentration goes down, so everybody is sleeping. On the other hand, we have CO. Yes. Look, the CO gas remains normal during the night. So, what we do so far? Application of the new IoT technology and technique make the implementation of these uh, stations very feasible and affordable. Use open hardware component allow, allows build efficient prototype and low cost with a short development time and high performance. As I mentioned, this is the first stage of this work. The first of this investigation. In future works, works, we want to implement more station, to build more station, to put in different location within the country. Second, we want to work in a dark system, not only on site to, to send a booster. No, we have, we want to work in a large system via SMN, email, or WhatsApp that alert to another people, like the fireman, that that is a leak in on site. We want to include more sensors in the station, sensor for greenhouse gases, for example, uh, PM or ozone. We want to try not 